The State Department being forced to defend Spying at the UN and a secret war in Yemen Despite DDoS attacks on WikiLeaks system Day by day cables still spray through mirror reflection Will Cablegate change the game or lead to repression? We get face to face with Hillary Clinton Hillary Clinton, how does it feel to get leaked on? It's scandalous, this is a case of high treason It's against the land of the brave and divine freedom We're the good guys for democracy, we fight evil And we've waged peace around the world, proud of the flag These leaks could devalue this powerful brand bring military operations straight to a halt. Our shareholders, clients, and partners would plainly revolt. But aren't you beholden to the American public? And isn't the U.S. one of the primary culprits in overthrowing governments such as Chile, Iran, Nicaragua? Please, stop with the drama. The American people are our employees whose taxes fund the wars that support our schemes. Their kids become troops we send overseas in return for mega malls in the American dream. And if our client states don't like the things that we do, we instead Install a dictator with a CIA coup In foreign relations subversion is the method we use WikiLeaks threaten the system so it's a terrorist group But people of the world seem to generally approve Of WikiLeaks actions in spreading the truth They do? Well then they're terrorists too Dissenters are traitors as history proves And they always lose That's curious Weren't some of our greatest heroes persecuted for this reason? Who? Mandela, Gandhi, Jesus <laughs> You idealists Okay, this I ain't called Secretary of State for nothing. But surely, now you're exposed out on the stage, one would expect the world's leaders to be outraged by the spying, lies, emerging charges. Now about you, Mr. Berlusconi, will your reputation fall more in this pandemonium? Maravetto, gli italiani mi amano come bambini e glielo metto in culo come Mussolini. The American flag is symbol global of liberty and I love Hillary, though she's a bit too old for me. By the way, Robert, how much for your new show? I pay cash. I just got some rubles. Sorry, Silvio, we have scruples. It's not for sale. Bravo. Hillary, come have a cigar at my hotel. Well, Hillary, it appears that the leaders are not that outraged. <laughs> are you serious? Of course not. We're one happy family tree, son, as you'll see soon when we hang a sand for treason. Treason? Could an Australian ever stand trial? Ha! <laughs> Australia's in the American Empire. We have puppet states, franchisees, subsidiaries, provided they obey their guaranteed liberty. We're not letting a sand get out of our grip. You know how hard Hard it was to plant a condom that he is really going on trial. But what is Assange accused of? I was molested by Julian in the Stockholm. Okay, it's almost time to end for the day. But until we meet again, a few questions remain. Is WikiLeaks really the greatest threat that we face? Or is it the response we're seeing in defense of the state? A response which is building and seeks to turn back the clock on freedom of speech and fundamental rights earned over a century. This should ring alarm bells for all who know their history. From this evidence, are we neglecting our memory and repeating the trajectory of the 20th century? And if so, upon seeing the facts but ceasing to act, don't we deserve the leaders we have? What needs to befall before we open the door and yell I'm mad as hell, I'm not gonna take it anymore! Or do we sit waiting for messiahs or aliens or a superhero if they're not all one and the same meme? History, dear viewers, is happening. Will we ever get a similar chance again? History books will be written about events this month. The story they will tell is up to us.